Maritime News Center. This is CTV News. Here is Steve Murphy. Good evening, everyone. Our news begins here tonight with troubling new insight into the extent of the prescription drug problem on small town streets. An undercover investigation by CTV's W5 reveals just how easy it is to buy powerful painkillers on the streets. CTV's Victor Malarek has more. He was full of life, fun-loving guy. Amy Graves' brother Josh was a healthy 21-year-old. But one night in March last year at a party, he died after mixing alcohol with hydromorphone. It's a pain reliever you should only be able to get with a prescription, but it's ending up for sale on the street. We're seeing a number of deaths in our community, and, and from my perspective, it's a crisis. Kenfield Police Chief Mark Mander says that doctors are the unwitting suppliers behind the illicit prescription pill trade. It's not just this area, it's across Canada. The, the drug dealer of preference, right, is the health care system. In the last five years, there have been 269 deaths linked to opioids, like hydromorphone in Nova Scotia. And in the Annapolis Valley, we're told they're easy to find. As long as you know the right person, they're everywhere. W5 decided to find out for ourselves with a hidden camera. And sure enough, it wasn't hard to find prescription opioids for sale on the street. I got like 600 of them. Amy believes it's that kind of easy access that led to her brother Josh's death. If there wasn't such an abundance, and if there wasn't such a supply, he would have never had the option to take that drug. Victor Malrick, CTV News, Kentville, Nova Scotia. And the W5 investigation prescription for tragedy airs tomorrow night at 7 o'clock.